So welcome everyone to today's interview word and uh, I'll be sharing from Luke 19. Now many of us have heard this um, story before about Jesus going to the temple and he's so raged at the activities that were happening in the temple. Now what was happening there? He said that you've made this, this temple is meant to be a house of prayer and today you've made it into a den of thieves. Now three things come up here. Number one, uh, there was a lot of um, money exchange going on in the temple because uh, the animals need to be bought, to be slaughtered, there's going to be, uh, and, uh, and the Jews at that time would not allow uh, the coins that were used by, for, for, the, for the other, uh, for other transaction to be used in the temple. So they had to exchange it for the temple coins. So there's a lot of exchange of money, then there's buying of this um, animals for slaughter. So there's so much of, it, it, it was like a kind of a marketplace. And that's why Jesus was so enraged. And he said, my house is going to be a house of prayer. Two, he was, he was, this is a very symbolic action because he was also driving out all this uh, slaughtering of animals. He was putting an end to that because he was going to be the ultimate lamb that was going to be sacrificed. Because after this, no more animals are going to be slaughtered in the Jewish sanctuary in the Jewish temple. That was it. It was a cul culmination of all animal sacrifices. Secondly, yeah, this that's the first point. Secondly, uh, when he attacked the temple, he was attacking Israel. And when he attacked Israel, he was attacking God. The Jews would have seen it in that light. That how can anyone attack the holy temple of Jerusalem and Jesus knew that he was in that he was going he was he was going to create bitter enemies just through this action but did he care he did not because he needed to speak the truth he was the truth today I ask myself how much have we compromised because we want to play it safe all the time in our church, we want to play it safe all the time. Today we have lost our, our missionary schools to, to the government. We are playing it safe. We don't go out. If we go to many other countries, they go on processions. They, they take the blessed sacrament is, is sent out to the streets and it's worship today we have compromised in our country we've compromised too much if we are really if we really go by what jesus did he did not care he put his neck out we cannot play it safe we cannot evangelization is not uh, okay let me, maybe we can or oh, this is a safe ground this is safe territory no one will, will attack us. No, we are doing it the right way. But it's not meant to be like that. You and I, I speak to myself here, we need to boldly, boldly step out and do what the Lord has done. The Lord does not tell us to do something that he's not done. Number three, my house shall be called a house of prayer. How much time do we spend each of us every week in front of the Blessed Sacrament. Now I had, so my daughter got married last week and I, I had taken a few days off during that week and what I decided to do was that I decided, okay, I'm going to uh, go and spend some time in front of the Blessed Sacrament every morning just to pray for, for covering for, for the whole marriage. I mean, how, how can we work, operate on a, alone? We cannot. We need God's grace. And I did see the power of God. I did see so many miracles. I mean, there were so many, on one hand, so many things turned out so right. So beautiful it was. The whole wedding ceremony, the mass. Some of my Hindu friends were saying that they were like in tears. Such. And I was like, thank you, God. 
and then there was so many good things at the same time there was like uh, both uh, of course uh, the mother of the bride will prepare what you need to wear there was both the times it went wrong it just didn't work out and i had to like quickly put in some last minute kind of last minute was like just before going for the event and and but but i believe god knew what he was doing the lord knew what he was doing and i, I want to thank god but there were so many miracles one particular miracle i i i want to say this so we uh, my friends uh, came down from india so like i i have may have told this before i studied in india i spent a little, many many years i think about 17 years in india so i have got very close and tough friends in india so we went to pick them up so me and another church friend we went to pick them up from the airport and i didn't have uh, enough um, money on my uh, card touch and go uh, so my youngest daughter she said don't worry mom i'll i'll i've i've got enough i said okay fine so but, but as you as you're going reaching the first toll gate i said okay she can i take out your touch and she said oh mom i forgot i was like oh, gosh what's happening and i had like what seven bucks and definitely not enough to reach the airport so you went one toll you're looking for that place where you can tamba the some money you know we couldn't find those absolutely nothing and it was like in the morning early in the morning and he went to another toll gate and then i just like 3 375 and there was still another two more tolls to go and i was like i was practically i was like crying out to the lord said lord you need to do something what's going to happen because we are like kind of stuck that's it and my friends will be waiting there at the airport and you won't believe this i mean i can't believe this till now we went to one toll just the second last toll there was 375 balance and i put it in and then the thing went up and i was like what what's happening it went up and my car passed and it was still the balance was still the same it was 375 i quickly called my friend who was in front of me i said i said i told him vicky did you what happened did, did you pay for the last toll because you didn't take any money he said yeah i paid i was like i was like i was like squeezing like, you please you jesus thank you lord is like I mean, without Jesus, where would we be? He just comes and he just like, I just like, I'm so grateful, and I'm sure that many of you, many of you, many of you, out there also have got these little miracles. Sp- shout it out! I have this opportunity because I'm speaking in front of you. But shout it out! Go speak! Go testify! Because that's the way the people will know that Jesus is alive. So yeah, so just run through those three points. Number one, that 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 we need to spend more time with myself. from the blessed sacrament that we need to be more bold in the way we evangelize to people just like Jesus so have a blessed blessed day and yeah let's spread the word god bless